Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a tech pack for your clothing brand, taking your ideas and turning them into reality. I'm giving away the tech pack used in this video absolutely for free for a limited time only. The link is in the description. Let's go. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Justin and we're back again with another video. If you're new to making custom merch, a tech pack is pretty much a blueprint or a set of instructions that you give to your printer or manufacturer so they know exactly how to turn your designs into a finished product. This includes materials, labels, print, colorways, measurements, and the list goes on. The ultimate goal of the tech pack is to minimize the number of samples made and bring a product to market faster. The tech pack also serves as a master document to track product development, including comments, revisions, and any last minute changes. So why is a tech pack important? For one, it can help you find the right manufacturer for your budget. The more detailed your tech pack is, the easier it will be for your factory or printer to gauge how much time it will take to make your product and how much it will cost. You can send a tech pack to multiple vendors and compare quotes that fit within your budget. Having a tech pack also means saving time and money. If you ever had samples made, you know how expensive it can get, especially when you're making anything custom from an overseas manufacturer. Depending on the type of item you're making, it can cost hundreds, if not more, and that's not even considering the shipping costs, which can be two to three times the cost of the actual sample product you're making. Having detailed tech packs will help reduce the hassle of all the back and forth between you and the manufacturer and improve efficiency. Tech packs also help improve fit quality. When a fit sample is received from the manufacturer, you can compare the sample measurements to the initial measurements you had and check whether they match up. This gives you room to make adjustments if necessary. It's also a reference point for quality control. For every round of samples, you'll have to check its points of measurements, materials, and construction details. If any of those are different from your specs, you can tell your manufacturer and they can make the necessary changes. Tech packs allow you to track each stage of the production process from start to finish, making sure nothing gets missed along the way. There's really no wrong way to make a tech pack. As long as you list out all of the important details for your printer or manufacturer, they should be able to make your product exactly how you want it. It can be as simple as a one pager, or it can have multiple pages. It all depends on the complexity of the garments you're making. Now I'm gonna show you a basic one page t-shirt tech pack that I made for my printer. If you downloaded the file in the description, you'll be able to edit it and make it your own. As you can see at the top, I included some important key information. I'll go over each section with you so that you have a better idea. First things first, you should always include your brand's logo somewhere your printer can see so that they can easily distinguish your tech pack from the several others that they deal with on the daily. For the brand section, I just put the brand name. In my example, it's Super 8. For style, it could be any type of garment you're making. Garment colors, it's whatever color garment you're printing on. In my case, I'm gonna be printing on white tees. In the season section, it can be the season you're planning to release the product. I put SS23, which is short for spring summer 2023. For materials, I put 100% cotton which is the material the t-shirts are made out of. Moving on to print colors, it's important to call out the Pantones of your colors for the printer to understand. Pantones are a standardized color matching system which is widely used around the world. It was created to help printers and designers control colors for printing projects. For description, it's always good to give the piece you're making a name or short description. In my example, I'm calling it the Ninja Star T. For sizes, 
list out all the different sizes you'll be offering for this specific item. Keep in mind for any size that's 2x and above, the cost will likely be higher because of the extra material it requires to make them. For date, you should put the date you started making the tech pack. There may be different versions later on, so it's important to date them at the time they were created. Underneath all that, you'll see a section that's blacked out with bold white text that reads front and back details. This is just a call out for your printer or manufacturer to know what they're looking at. Down below, you'll see the actual fashion flat with the design I'm going for, along with all the detailed measurements of where I want my graphics to be placed. As you can see, I laid out both the front and back views of the t-shirt. It's super important to call out all the details to make sure you get a final product that matches your design. The more specific you can get, the better the results. For the front, you'll see that I place a small three and a half by two and a half inch graphic on the left chest area. If you're unsure of how big to make your graphics, it's always helpful to print out the actual size of the graphic on a piece of paper and lay it on top of your garment to get a better idea. This has always helped me make better decisions when making samples. Moving along towards the middle of the page, you'll notice that I made a call out for the neck label. If there are parts of your design that are covered or hard to see, make sure you call them out. Here, I wanted to make sure that my neck labels were two by one inches placed a quarter inch down from the neck seam. The backside of the t-shirt is similar to the front. The only difference is the size and the placement of the graphic. Again, it's always helpful to print out the actual size of your graphic on a piece of paper to use as a visual reference. Below the t-shirt mockups, I also made a section to call out the type of blank used. In my example, I went with the ShockAware Max Heavyweight tee. This is probably one of my favorite heavyweight tees at the moment. Below you'll see the sizes and quantity. These are the sizes you're planning to make along with the quantity for each size. This is helpful for you when making purchases on blanks and also helpful for the printer to keep track of how many they need to make. Underneath that section, you'll see contact. It's always good to include your contact info just in case the printer needs to reach you for anything that comes up. To the right of that, I made a note section for anything else you want the printer to know. In my case, I wanted to call out all of the different neck label sizes for my shirts, but it can be anything you want to tell your printer. Below that, it's always nice to label your pages. Since this t-shirt design is simple with a blank that's already made, a one-page tech pack is perfect for this project. But of course, when you're making more custom and complex garments, more pages are required to call out all of the details. For now, I think this is a great place to start if you're just starting out printing graphics on tees. Now, if you wanna learn how to turn your tech pack design into an actual product, or if you wanna know which t-shirt blanks to use, you can check out these other videos here. If you learned something new today, hit that sub, drop a comment down below, or show some love with a like. I appreciate every one of you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.